Hello there, uh, my name is The Flying Rodent, and this is my Let's Play of Skyrim on Legendary Difficulty. Uh, we just got back from clearing the ruins of Mazolft, of all its dwarven metal, which took a very long time, um, given that there was about 1,500 pounds worth of stuff in there, um, but we eventually ferried it out of the ruin, and then I ferried it back to a smelter in Windhelm in a series of trips. Uh, in hindsight, it probably would have been quicker to uh, just get a horse and then um, fast travel with everything on my back on the horse to Whiterun and then just hobble over the smelter there, and that could have been done in one trip, uh, but instead we spent you know an extra 10 or so minutes ferrying stuff back and forth to Windhelm. Um, but anyway, we got all of our Dwarven Metal, which was enough to max out smithing when the time comes, which took the better part of about two to two and a half hours, uh, and this video I don't plan to make nearly as long, so yeah. We're back in win Winterhold for the moment, uh, and we've just realised that uh, something weird's happening in the central room, so uh, let's go check that out. You don't actually have to do anything, it kind of just dissolves once uh, Savos decides to, to boop it. There we go. And uh, invisible wall, go away! And then we're in. And here's uh, Mr. Crooked knows I'm definitely not evil guy. Just, just chilling. Absorb. Here. Ancano is doing something with that thing, the eye. We can't stop him. I haven't seen Savo since the explosion. He must have been blown clear and he may be injured. I need you to find the Archmage and I need you to do it quickly. Get moving. I'll be fine. I just need a minute to catch my breath. Find Savos. Oh yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, so um, I guess maybe maybe some people ask the question. So why does Samus Aran and Mirabella Irvine uh, not do anything useful for you uh, when you join the College of Winterhill? Well, foreshadowing, it's because they're probably going to die. Yeah. So uh, making them useful NPCs would kind of suck. So they specifically made them not very useful NPCs, so that uh, when they died, you didn't miss them. Are you alright? What that? happened in there? By the Nine, is he responsible for this? The Archmage? Dead? There's more. Yeah, There's we're just uh, staring at his body. The Archmage? Us dead? Oh no. Dead. You need to get out there and make sure it's safe. Quickly now, quickly. I'll find Mirabelle and see if we can't put a stop to this. Is he dead? I'm dead. going to find whoever did this. Uh, anyway, so while that's all happening, uh, apparently Winterhold's under attack. What's going on? What so let's uh, go protect Winterhold. It may let's get down there. We have to do something. All right. Uh, so yeah, now comes one of the most fun quests on Legendary Difficulty, which is killing giant, well not giant, killing freaking damage sponges that are impossible to shoot because they have the same freaking hitbox as a ice wraith, and there's ten of them. So, uh, yeah, this quest on Legendary is good fun, um, and pretty much you just need to be patient. There's kind of no other way to do this 
other than to just hope that your friends kill them all in a reasonable amount of time before you go insane. Uh, you can kind of take pot shots in the general area of the anomalies, um, and I'm pretty sure... <laughs> Seriously though, the MVP of this fight is uh, is this dude here, who's the Enchanter guy, who's obviously an immortal NPC because he never dies and he literally just comes out here and fist fights them all. Mr. Arniel Game. Uh, yeah, he's good fun. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, you literally just have to uh, just just shoot in the general area of these things and uh, hope that they take damage. And they do take damage, there's no doubt about it, uh, but they just take a very long time to take damage, and uh, I have a freaking idea how you would complete this quest on Legendary Difficulty if you didn't have summons or a follower, because it's not like you're going to do much damage to them. I guess you just have to wait for Feralta and Arniel with his awesome fists to do something. Uh, but anyway, with a Dramora Lord and Lydia, it's uh, it's not that hard. It just takes a long time. Uh, you don't know whether or not you're shooting anything. So, yeah, I, I generally just try and find a mass of them and, and aim in their general direction and hope that I hit one of them. Because, uh, yeah, it's kind of a bit of a clusterfuck. Oh, yeah, and you'll have to summon multiple Dremora. There's kind of like no, no two ways about that. And then the Dremora Lord will run out soon. And you just have to summon one of them. Doody -do. They don't do too much damage if they come after you. Ooh, one of them actually looks fairly injured. There we go, the Dremora ran out. Um, <clears throat> I might have to go over and heal Lydia at some point. Uh, check on Lydia, actually. What's she doing? Ah, uh, she's, uh, she's doing all right. Um, she's kind of surrounded by them at the moment. So, um, she might actually get hurt down to a threshold where I have to run up to her and heal her. Um, that might happen, actually. Uh, did we kill one? Oh, look, this big blue lightning flash just before it kind of. There was someone casting a spell. Anyway. Well, there we go, I, I shot one of them, got an archery point. Yay me. Um, I might just save, <laughs> just in case everything turns to pot and then I have to spend another 10 minutes getting back to where I was. Top you up. That'll do. And I'm stuck. My mammoth skull. Why not? Um, so yeah, uh, I usually stand on this little platform just because it gives you an avenue to you know, run away in case they decide to run at you. But uh, they're usually pretty occupied with. Doing your summons and your follow up, so I usually just chill here and shoot arrows in their general direction and hope that you hit one. Ooh, one of them looks almost dead actually. Not that I have any hope in the hell of actually hitting them yet, but. Uh, And that was Lydia. We just got catapulted all the way over there uh, for no reason. I don't think we've managed to kill one yet. Yeah, there you go. So when they hit you, they don't do too much damage, but they can. Uh, can mob you, that's more what, what the problem is, if you know, you've got ten of them surrounding you and they all do that, then you're dead. <coughs> and, uh, and they block you off, so you can't even run away when they do that, you're even more dead. So basically, don't get mobbed. Uh, so yeah, eventually what happens is, uh, like all enemies, they're, um, they're programmed to, to run away when they go down to, you know, 5% health. So, um... Eventually they'll all get down to about 5% health and they'll all have run away. 
and, uh, and you can kind of just pick them off. Damage sponges are cool. There we go, we've got a few of them down to like almost no health now. Um, but whether or not we can actually kill them is another matter entirely. So that little guy running away is almost on it's almost dead. And we might be able to There we go, that's one dead. And that's two dead. Hey, I managed to kill one, aren't I? Good. There we go. And he even had a grand soldier. Go me. Um, I don't like being mobbed by two of them, though. Slowly, and we'll keep going. Alright, two down, apparently. And they both had grand soul gems. They drop a random filled soul gem. Um, so we lucked out getting two grands then. No complaints there, that one's almost dead. Yeah, it does become easier the more that you get rid of, because then your followers aren't so confused trying to fight so many of them. Well, I'm being attacked, apparently. Three. That must have been Feralda who got rid of that one. Um, let's see how they're going. Oh no, it was Arn <laughs> It was Arniel with his massive punching fists. And that's four. It's back over here. There we go. So yeah, they drop random soul gems. Um, so the fact that we got three grand there. So extremely lucky. Whoop! Come on, let's kill this one before it runs off. God damn it, guys. <laughs> you had one job. That's five. <clears throat> Whoop. Wait. And he runs off like a little pansy. I guess the fifth one's over here as well, so I'm pretty checked that one. Um. I wonder how Feralda's going in this time, I haven't really seen her. Is that her here? Yeah, here she is, she's just uh, stuck, so she's fine. She's not doing anything useful, but she's uh, fine. Yeah, I don't know why that fifth one was. Anyway, whatever. Just keep uh, fighting. Kill the damaged sponges. So I'm going to couple of these, because it's good fun. Oh, there's two ganging up on Mr. Unarmed Man. That's pretty really fun. It is really a lost cause to fight these things with a bow. Um, <clears throat> hey, that's six. Oh, there's the other one. Yeah, four to go now, and they're all pretty much almost dead anyway, so with any luck, and Dramora friends, Dramora and Lydia, beat them up, and, uh, well, I might even kill this one myself. Yeah. I did stuff. I'm uh, not sure where number seven is. That's eight. So there's only two more now. How good's that? That's nine. And there's just this little one running away. So are you going to kill it? There we go. And we're down to ten. 
and one of the people resurrected a chicken. <laughs> Not only does he punch things, he resurrects chickens. Boss. That's a shot. Guardian of Winterhold. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, so 15 minutes later, the town's the town's fine, um, and then we uh, go back inside to see what happened to Mr. Savas Aaron. I guess. Off we go. Actually, let's just fast travel. That's uh, quicker. Oh, we're standing now. Wish I could say the same for us. Tolfdir and I can try and keep this contained. You need to get your hands on the staff of Magnus now. What? Are you are you sure? The staff is there. That can't be a coincidence. The Archmage. He he gave me something just a little while ago. He told me it was from Labyrinthian, and that I would know what to do with it when the time came. I think... I think he meant this for you, then. I'm not sure why, but there was something very personal about it for him. I think you should take this amulet. It belonged to Savos, but I think it would do you the most good now. Take it and get out of here. Remember oh yes, we have this, like, predetermined thing set up for reasons unknown. That means that you can go now do the Labyrinthian bit. Thanks, lady. Bye. So yeah, FYI, the Staff of Magnus uh, is an item in Morrowind that uh, Ajira tells you about. It's just like something cool hanging out in a cave, and then you uh, you go find it in Morrowind, and it's worth two hundred and ten thousand dollars, which is worth so much money that there's next to no way that it's ever useful for you. Um, but it's very impressive when you see something worth that amount of money. Um, so yeah. I guess when they were coming up with the uh, College of Winterhold quest for this game, they just decided to shoehorn that in, because they're like, yeah, why not? That's a cool item that people remember from other games. Lol. Anyway, so off to Labyrinthian to get the staff to do the magics with the eye. Um, do -do -do. Yeah, I've offloaded all of my loot. I don't really have anything interesting to carry. Ah, uh, that's a spider, isn't it? Yep, that's a spidey. Hey, spidey. Bye, spidey. Do. So yeah, Labyrinthian's up there, but you kind of got to go around the mountain to get to it. Uh, it's like a big, big Nordic ruin thing with a few tro frost trolls running around. Was that something running after Lydia that I just missed? That, no, that's a deer. Where's Lydia gone? The eternal question. That was. That was a shot. Um, there's Lydia. Hi, Lydia. That Dramora tried to hug me, but he couldn't get to me before his summon time ran out. Why is there a blue butterfly 
in the middle of the freaking snowy tundra. Um, and where are you going? Uh, we're fighting a high elf. Okie doke. Uh, but what we're not doing is damaging a high elf. Um, so that makes me think that that high elf is quite high level. And uh, I'm just going to do this now. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of this high elf. Um, kind of a bit too nimble for my liking. Oh, I have power shot now, so I can stagger things. Ooh, I should use my bow more. Yeah, goodbye. In the butt. We splat. Um, and you are wearing orcish armor because reasons, and um, have a glass dagger. Thanks, man. All right. So that is a hunting bow. I'm pretty sure I gave you an elven bow. Why are you using a hunting bow? I am at your command. Yeah. So this happens occasionally. Your follower just forgets that you gave them a decent bow. Um, so what I might have to do is uh, give them back to her so that she freaking remembers. Thanks. All right, Labyrinthian. So yeah, um, we kind of don't want this video to be over two hours long, because the previous video was over two hours long, so um, we will just clear Labyrinthian and that will be the video, I think. Um, and we don't have to, you know, ferry stupendous amounts of stuff out of the room this time, so it shouldn't take as long, in theory. Um, all we really have to do is fight the things along the way. Um, uh, he found me, didn't he? Yeah. Hey. Um, it would be nice if Lydia was here about now. But uh, Lydia's busy being stuck. Oh well, we need to follow her, right? Uh, that would it'd be nice if you stayed on the platform, though. Uh, okay. I thought I had become ethereal, so that was a little bit scary, but uh, that works too. So, um, I saw Lydia contemplating coming up the stairs down there. Let's, uh, actually come up the stairs. Thanks. And she's still using her shitty bow. Yeah, alright. Um, so yeah, this is half the reason why I don't bother giving her a decent bow, because she also forgets how to fucking use it. So, um, I'll just take that back now, if you're gonna keep using your crappy hunting bow, and we'll keep going. Thanks. It's quite nice you can kind of stagger them a lot now. That's a dragon. Um, I don't really plan on going over there, but um, it's interesting to see. I didn't realize we were that close to that, that dragon peak where we are now, um, but apparently we are. Um, can I get out of this interesting little hole in the ground now? Thank you. Oh, Lydia got stuck in the hole in the ground too long. Alright. 
Oh yeah, and of course, like ghosts telling you, past narratives happen to be here. Come on, we're finally here. Let's not waste any more time. We'll be back at the college before anyone even knows we're gone. You would care about that, since you're the Archmage's favorite. Don't forget, this whole idea was Atmas to begin with. Let's just get inside, see what's in there. Doink. And uh, welcome to Labyrinthian, the dwarven ruin of mystery that is quest locked. I can't believe we're doing this. Can you imagine the looks on their faces when we come back? You keep talking like you're sure we'll find something useful in here. Given the history of this place, it's more than likely there's still some amount of power here. Enchanted weapons, tomes of ancient knowledge. Shalador's secrets themselves. Who knows what we could find? And what if, what if there are things guarding this place? Against six college-trained mages? I think we'll be fine. Epic foreshadowing. Oh yeah, there's Detect Life sitting there. Um, so you can use Detect Life to uh, practice alteration skill as well, which we might do uh, later. Right, and then you have this cool door <coughs> that uh, shuts on you. So, what we're going to do, because it does that, is we're going to summon you over the other side of the fence to begin with. Uh, and then we're going to go through. And uh, then we're going to open it again. And then Lydia's hopefully going to come through uh, to fight all of these cool skeletons. But no, instead she's just going to like stand in the doorway like a freaking idiot. And uh, yeah, Dremora's going to do all the work as usual. So yeah, there's a bunch of skeletons in this cool skeletal dragon thing here. And the skeletal dragon actually hurts quite a bit, so we won't get close to that. This here little pole as a um, do a little post and I'm just gonna pick off this little skelly. And uh, this little skelly. Still have no idea what Lydia is doing. Oh she's getting stuck. Oh she is, come on. And staring at a wall. And uh, that's the end of Lydia, and then there's one more thing. Oh, the dragon's not dead. Right. Are you going to come through now? Yep, come on. There we go. Thanks. Uh, so yeah, so it's instances like that why I don't rely solely on followers, and why I don't like the idea of having permanent summons that act like followers, because it only takes one of them to get stuck on a door, or get their foot stuck in a ledge, or something dumb like that, and then you're stuffed. Whereas, at least with a Dremora, you can be like, oh, you're stuck, are you? Well, how about get a new one, yay? So yeah, Lydia's two main uses are a tank and a mule. She's not really meant to do damage. Now let's just give her some bones. Thanks. Going, you barely made it out alive. You want to go back in? It's too late. There isn't enough of him left to go back in after. So who did they lose? We they lost. Uh, Might as well go they lost it's the guy who was worried. <laughs> Typical horror movie plot, the guy who worries the most dies first. Alright, ah, 
and moving on. Do, 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 do. All right, and then you encounter these silly things that kill all of your magicka. So, um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, the dragon priest has the power to uh, yell at you in a strange language and get rid of all your magicka at various points because he's annoying like that. Um, there's kind of not really any way around it other than to just like know where the points are and then just wait. Uh, this bit has like a frost spirit in you. You open the door by shooting flames at it for bizarre reasons. And in case you didn't learn flames for the previous major skill quest where you needed to learn flames, there's a flames book there. Um, I guess to kind of remind you how to open the door more than anything. Kill, that's him dead. Next, and then another one appears. Yay! And there goes all your magicka. Um, so now you just gotta just gotta sit here and wait. Again, let's just do the happy dance. Yep. Um, where's a nice place to summon a Dramora? Let's try... Nah. Ah, that's why I was able to do it. Oh, that's sad. I was hoping to be a bit closer than that. Oh well. Hey. Missed. How about there? That's better. Um... Oi! That's not very nice. Um, we have quite a lot of soul gems at the moment, don't we? We should be soul trapping these guys a lot more than we currently are. We've got two commons, four graders, two lessers, and four petties. Yeah, let's just soul trap all the things. I'm just gonna run down here and soul trap. You, so the game allows me to do that. Oh, and there's another one. Nice. Uh, we should actually try and make sure we don't run out of magic completely. Um, so I'm just going to heal up here and uh, wait a bit. There we go. Lydia's, Lydia's getting a little bit of dagger, um, but of course these idiots don't kill the white. Um, and flames does no damage. Of course it doesn't. Um, Let's use some potions that we never use, eh? Hey? <laughs> How? There. Boom. Headshot. Um. Soul trap. Thanks. Bye. Uh, can I get out? Thanks. Alright. Uh, not sure if there's anything else. Oh, yeah. The old invisible shock rune, eh? <laughs> uh, I forgot there were these in this fucking ruin. Alright. At least we just got through this door. Fucking invisible runes that we can't see because the graphic settings are too shit. Gotta love it. Anyway, eventually, we're gonna have enough fucking magic resistance that it doesn't matter if we happen to run into one of those, we're just gonna be able to tank it. Um, but for now, we don't have that. <laughs> and we just fucking eat the dirt every time one of them appears on the door. I hope that you, dear viewer, do not have the same problem, because if you do, I will refund the fucking game. Anyway. It's probably because I'm playing on minimum settings, and they don't load on minimum settings. What can you do? Ah, starting with you. Oh, thanks. Um. Come 
Will I stop sneaking now? I feel like I'm zooming in. Nah. No. Alright, next. There's the, oh, that's not good. Oh yeah, that's fine. I'll take that. time we can upgrade the graphic settings just to, to make it or not um, that works get out of the way I'm just gonna save in case there's any more in here that I don't remember Oh yeah, there's this cool spell here. So what this spell does is it uh, it trades your magic for your health, so you can, in theory, use it to infinitely train restoration skill, like so. Um, where are we? You go to books, and you read it. And then uh, let's just um, put equilibrium in one hand and something else in the other. Where are we? Equilibrium in your right hand and then restoration in your left hand and then you do stuff like this so your health goes down and then you heal yourself and then you use this again and uh, yeah you can just do this to you know train infinite restoration skill if you're so inclined ah we're not going to bother doing that but uh, in theory that is how you can train restoration skill now if you wanted to kill a day by doing that um, yeah, it's an embalming tool, um, I think we checked that, yeah we did, um, but we can level up, uh, what we might do is uh, just summon a bunch of Dremors in front of the enemy and then level up to get our magicka back and then keep going, um, how do we get out of here this way, level up available, yep, I know that, um, alright, Little nightshade. Oh, yeah, that happens. I Must I use this guttural language of yours? Yep, sure do. Ooh, sneakiness. I am the sneak. Uh, I'm just gonna summon you about there. Uh, and then you're gonna go find that guy, and he's a white too. Um, but it's going to run this way just to keep things interesting, eh? So um, now we're going to level up and then we're going to um, get our magic back. Who the hell is he? Can you get out of the way? Thanks. Uh, there we go. What hurt me? Oh, there's two of you, aren't there? No? Oh, there is. There's two of you. Alright. Ow. Stop hurting me. Space bar is jump on me. Still a well ingrained muscle memory that I wouldn't want to jump on Ashley. Alright. Dodge the arrows. I'm guessing the Dramor is dead or stuck. Anyway, dead. Oh no, he's just stuck. Whatever. Sweet, let's summon another one in case we need it again. some mushrooms and uh, yeah that's that bit I think that's the way down the bottom 
uh, if you want to go that way. And then there's another way down the bottom, I think, um, all the way up here. So uh, we'll just we'll just go this way, because why not? Um, don't think there's anything else here. Oh, there's some gold ore. Nice. Yoink. Uh, I don't think there's really anything else here that's, that's worth checking out. Uh, yeah, so you can kind of like wind your way down using that. Oh, there's something there. Hi. Just going to pick some flowers and uh. So, oh, that's my arrow. It's not, a, it's not a flower. Damn. Um, are they flowers? Hey, yay, flowers. Um. Soul trap you. Summon a bow. Meanwhile, Lydia's busy sucking her thumb and staring at a wall. Oh no, she's she's finding the perfect vantage point to shoot this this uh, white, which is from below. Because reasons. Um, oh, that one has a supple ancient Nordic bow. Ooh, exotic. Still not going to pick it up though, because uh, a it's not worth giving it to Lydia, because as she's already proven, she doesn't freaking use anything you give her in the way of bows. And uh, b I got this little guy who currently does a. Uh, 83 damage versus the 35 damage that that bow does, so, um, no thanks. Yes. Alright. How are we going for Conjuration? We are, we're slowly working our way towards 100 Conjuration. Uh, we're getting there. We could probably get there by the end of this ruin if we decided to use some Bound Sword Malarkey, actually. So, um, I might do that. We might bring back the Bound Sword Malarkey just for this ruin, eh? Um, just to see if we can get Conjuration to 100 by the end. Why not? <sighs> Save us a bit of time. Um, so you can be six. Cool. Alright, and uh, off you go. I mean, you could run in the same direction as the enemies, as opposed to running in the opposite direction as the enemies. That would be useful. Yeah! There we go. And again! So yeah, Bounce Sword Malaki, and we already got half a level out of that. Good. Moving on. It's actually not too that not that much different from summoning Dramoras, to be honest, at this point. Um, it that adds a little bit more, but uh, not really that much more. Uh, do I want to unlock that? Then why not? It's a novice lock. It's not the end of the world. Um, for my troubles, I got. I got a nothing. Got some gold ore, yeah. Um, and meanwhile, my Dramora has sniffed out a challenger. Ooh, there's the challenger. Um, can we fight it, please? Thanks. Three more to go. Of course, we're killing this thing freaking slowly because Liddy is doing it. Pretty sure I do more damage with these stupid little swords than Liddy right now. Goodbye. Um, yep, thanks. There we go. Magic of removing triggered bits. Um, so we will wait and then we'll summon another dude and uh, then we'll keep going. I don't know. Not sure where the enemies are in relation to where I am. I think they're above me. Not sure. Um, oh, that's a troll. That's a nice noise. Uh, now they're below me. Alright, let's fight the troll. Thanks. Hey, I can just mash six. Right. 
day we learnt. Uh, so you cast Bounce Sword in both hands, and then you mash 6 as you're summoning the swords, and then it goes away. How cool is that? Power leveling 101. Um, okay, I'm going to Soul Trap you. Do. Um, there'll be another one of these dumb triggers. Uh -huh. And we're almost back to full. Thank you. And I'll put you down. Uh, how about there, right next to that skeleton. Cool, thanks. 98. So yeah, we could have done this in all the other places we are in, and just like, you know, summon band swords and mash six, and summon band swords and mash six, and then do that over and over again, and uh, power level conjuration to 100 that way. But we tried not to be too stupid, um, but I'm just, you know, we're so close now, I figured, hey, might as well just illustrate the power of it so we can maybe see two Dramora Lords in action before the end of the video. That sounds fun, right? Um, that's a bit annoying though, because now we're kind of in the situation where the magic is going to regenerate really slowly, because we've still got to kill these two annoying little skeletons. That's one annoying skeleton. This one's a bit tanky though, and they like running behind pylons. Where they're going to do no use. Um, that actually hit them? No, surely not. Anyway, um, you open this. Ah, oh, there we go. They've come down the bottom. They're just going to forfeit their high ground because they are. They want to do the manly jewel thing. Um, so yeah, I'm down with that. Go fight my Dramora Lord, Mr. Manly Jeweling Skeleton. While I summon swords for no reason and then charge at you. Oh no, I didn't even get to get the killing blow. Oops. <coughs> Alright, let me summon another one in here. Then we're gonna go in here. There should be another troll. So, yeah, there's one. Hi. Um, Dramora, I choose you again. Alright, one more. Six. So close yet so far. I kind of wanted to soul trap them actually. So let's do that and then hit them! Yeah! I did all the work. Um, Alright. And there should be one more in here. And that'll do it! We are so close. Soul trap you. Yeah. Alright. And now we can get rid of you from the quick bar. Actually, you know what we can do? We can do this. Mid combat. Go to here. Go to here. Get that. Get that. Get this little beauty. And now we got two of the bastards. Beat them up, boys. Meet Beavis and Butthead, guys. This is what will carry you to the late game of these two guys here. So up to this point I've needed to do very minimal in combat, and now I can basically do nothing. Cause ah uh, yeah. Now we got two of them. Sweet. Just start uh, resummon. So yeah, um, currently have 300 magicka. So if I was to let's get rid of you. 
Um, let's instead make you what we had you before, which was... Well, I'll make you muffle, why not? Um, if you want to summon two Dremoras and Bound Bolt, start a combat. So if you had, say, you got one and three, so you go one, two, three, like that. That's like your opening combo. That costs about 230 Magicka at level 40. I mean, at level 100 Conjuration. So, yeah. Another reason for... Um, for ensuring that you take 200 magic at the start of the game. Uh, let's, yeah, you go kill those guys, eh? Nope, this one seems very determined to kill me. Uh, ooh, and now we get to fight this cool little lady who uh, lobs an awful lot of ice spells at you. Once she decides to shoot us. Like that. She has like this tri she does like this ice spike trio thing, which is really cool. Yeah, thankfully we don't have to worry about it too much because we're a Nord. But normally, if you might fight one of these things and you're not a Nord, they are kind of a pain in the ass because that trio of ice spikes can uh, one-shot you quite easily. And then when she's almost dead, she kind of summons these little clones of herself, which uh, don't have much health. But they can be annoying, they can cast like frost bite on you and stuff. Uh, but yeah, if you kill the main the main source, then they uh, all die. Why not? Bye. Alright, that was fun. Uh, meanwhile, Lydia is who knows where, so let's do this again. Where have you gone, you stupid lady? <sighs> We're doing so well. Where did she get stuck? Yeah, hi. Come on. Hurry up. How is that not targeting the chest? Come on. Did he want you in children? Now I would be your wrongdoing. That it would only serve to strengthen me. So for that we need to go over here, because I don't have a quick bar, and then we go here, and then we go here, and then we huh? put a hole in the wall. Thanks. And frostbite, just uh, in case you forgot. Um, all right. Oh, yeah, these guys are back. Come on, we can't stop now. We have to keep moving. Where's Elvoy? She was right behind me. Dead. Something grabbed her from behind. Gone before I could do anything. This is insanity. We never should have come. You're right. This is all my fault. Did you turn around? Head back. I don't think we're. We Your stupid little magic thing does nothing because I've already summoned my stuff. Sucked in, buddy. Alright. 
Uh, you can open that and then make everything down, drop down the bottom and fight all the stuff down the bottom, or you can uh, work your way around here. Uh, so yeah, so for some reason all the enemies in this bit have this like weird spectral quality about them. Um, and there are three different types of weapons that you can loot off the people. There is a an absorb health weapon, an absorb stamina weapon, and an absorb magical weapon. So we will get one of each of those so we can disenchant them at an altar. That was the absorb stamina weapon. Uh, meanwhile, these Dremora are not really getting any further with uh, the killing bit. So let's do that. There's stuff to kill in there. Um, get in there, Lydia, with your shitty bow that you won't use, or that you'll use above everything else. Meanwhile, they are very hurriedly trying to run into a wall. How good's this? Oh. Oh, absorb magic and hopefully yeah you got the axe well, I was even a troll nice dead there we go drain blood battle hacks for absorb health so yeah, that's one of each of the uh, drain hard weapons that we can now just chant at an altar, and we are good to go. Um, let's uh, summon these again. Peeps and Butthead, thank you. And we've almost leveled up. They're sleeping. Um, we can do the uh, sneaky, sneaky, sneak, sneaks. Like that. Do we do? Um, yeah. What can we do? Uh, why don't we just start? Uh, do this again. Why not? That was fun last time, wasn't it? Sweet, and we leveled up, and now we get to do it all again. Uh, yeah, do you want to move out of the way now? Ah, so that ward is meant to uh, warn you of uh, some annoying traps in here that um, you're supposed to use a ward to protect yourself from. But um, we're just going to put the ward on and show you exactly what happens when you put the ward on. Uh, we're going to save first. But are uh, you, re you ready for the, the best ward spell ever? So we have this... Oh no, hang on, I've got to learn it first. Do, do, do. So we learn Steadfast Ward, and then you uh, run in here with the ward on. And it breaks, and then you stagger, and then you're kind of fucked because you got no magicka, and then you die. So yeah, that is why ward spells are bad. Moving on. Instead, we're going to use another tactic to get past these silly little traps. 
and that is we're going to shoot them um, with any luck we can get far enough around the corner to shoot them without them going off that's one. Oh, great. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Lydia. Uh, another thing you can do, of course, is just... Uh... Holy crap. No, that's not what I wanted you to do. I wanted you to do that. Come on. There we go. They disarm themselves. Thanks, game. Um, yeah. Uh, if that would that would have worked a bit more smoothly. Thanks, butthead, for uh, disarming that trap for me without without realizing. Um, should be a third one. There it is. Can we just kill the freaking dog? out there and we're all gonna get stuck on the stairs together. Oh cool. That's one. Come on, out you go. Thank you. Alright, uh, if you go up here there's, oh, there's a couple, uh, including that one that was just standing at the top of the stairs that decided to peek around the corner. Uh, but they're not very high level so we can uh, Probably just do this. Yeah, there's a, a normal drawer and a, a restless drawer. So um, we'll probably take this two on on our own, actually. Um, but what would be nice is uh, if instead I'm able to shoot that one first. Um, okay. Lydia's going to interrupt our little duel. And uh, yeah, dead. Thanks. More lock picks. Do, do, do. All right, and then we go down here. Pick some more nightshade up. Don't think there's anything down here. I think if you swim under here, you can find a bit of ore or something. Oh, there we go, a bit of ore. And that's about. Yep. Cool. Oh no, Beavis and Butthead just died. So they come back. Um, then we have this like cool torture bit. Uh, Blip. I feel like I'm about to run into a rune. So I'm just going to save. Nice. Lydia just yawning. Oh, there's this guy. Um, maybe we can do this. Get some sneaky sneak skill. There we go. So if we do this, and uh, we haven't done this for a while, let's uh, tell you to wait here. I will remain on guard. And then we'll. Uh... I don't think we have. Oh, we got that though. That'll work. 
actually use them for something constructive. And then we're going to like sneak. Uh, before we do that, actually, let's uh, do this. Cool. Yeah, snake skill. Um, let's just get baby some butthead back. Thank you. Uh, and not get stuck in a door. That would be nice. Uh, yeah. Let's not get stuck in a door. Thanks. That was fun. Uh, yeah. Follow me. Apparently, no, no. I was going to say, apparently, I can talk to you. But then, um, there we go. You got the right idea. <coughs> Slow time. All right. So, slow time is an interesting shout because it slows your movement, but at a far you it slows everyone's movement, but enemy movement more so than yours. So, it's kind of you can kind of use it for a few things. Um, I tend not to use it that much instead of become ethereal. Uh, there we go. And you have the right idea. I'll eventually get the opportunity to talk to her and get her to follow me. Uh, but in the meantime, we can uh, shoot some scourges. What we might do is uh, get this out again. Boink. <laughs> Boink. Some magic back to summon our bow. Meanwhile, you're just running this way. Thanks. How are we going for soul gems? Um. Oops. <laughs> oh well. Um, oops -a daisy <laughs> We have four petty soul gems left. Okay. Ah well. Anyway, we filled some. We filled some grand soul gems with some lesser souls. So we could have done worse. What else could we do? Stay there and die with her? She refused to go on. We didn't have a choice. This is it. Through this door. Can you feel it? We're not going to make it, are we? We stay together, no matter what. Agreed? I'll be right with you. Agreed. We all stay together. Epic foreshadowing. So yeah, I assume that uh, those two ghosts are meant to be the uh, the two wizards that I uh, didn't make it out. Uh, before we go in there, let's get Lydia back, for real. Hi. We heading out? 
As you command, Conquane. Um, all right. Well, what we can do actually is we can use these to uh, get some sneak practice, like we did on that other guy, because these guys won't turn around. Um, so what we'll do? How is our sneak? It's 38, so we could feasibly get it to 40 in here. Let's see if we can do that. Um, what we'll do first is we'll uh, leave you here. Because it's not like there's anything going to be going on anywhere else. Uh, so this is Morakai. Uh, they're a dragon priest. Uh, and they won't move until both of these wizards have been uh, forcefully moved from their posts. So the way that we're going to do that is uh, like this. Uh, step one. You are not Daisy. Oh, hey. I'll try and do this without summoning anything, but I might have to summon something. There we go. Lydia's on the case. Should be fine. Ah, uh, there was some, like, moss. Yeah, there we go, I could pick some moss. Hanging moss is a nice alchemy ingredient for some, for some stuff. Ah, now Lydia, of course, is, is deferred to using a bow, which means that she's just, like, cut her damage down to next to nothing. Thanks, Lydia. Ow. That's one. Uh, and now for the next one, which is, um... That's, that's going to be the fun bit. Uh, I'm almost over-encumbered, so to stop any issues, I'm just going to, um, give you some things. Um, what things can I give you? It might be useful. Uh, you can have an ebony shield. You can use that temporarily. Uh, you can wear some orcish armor. Um, and you can wear some steel shin boots. How's that sound? Uh, I don't know why I'm carrying that. Yeah, I don't know why I'm carrying that. No, goodbye. That'll do. Okay, and then we just have this other wizard to go, and then we're, we're done. Um, oh. I guess not. That's very interesting. <laughs> okay. This could get quite hairy because he's not supposed to have moved. Okay. Alright. Time to summon our more buddies and uh, kill this wizard. Alright, let the fun begin. So, Morakai is a dragon priest, and much like Croesus, he will continually run back, trying to kite everyone with his silly little staff. Um, thankfully, his silly little staff is uh, the mighty staff of Magnus, which does magicka damage until you run out of magicka and then it damages health. Um, and because we're not likely to run out of Magicka, and because Dramoras pretty much are not likely to run out of Magicka either, uh, it does basically no damage to anyone, uh, which is the nice bit until you run out of Magicka. Um, and he's also managed to pin himself against the wall, so this should be a quite easy fight. Let's all wallop on the Dragon Priest stuck in the wall. Oh no, he figured out how to get out. Um, what we might do is uh, get another archery perk. Because um, I think we got that. Yeah, more damage. Can't, can't go past more damage when we're not really doing archery things. Um, that one 
the way wide. Yes, he does. He does drain you magic pretty quickly. He does decide to shoot you. Can you come back now, please? Almost there. Death. Goodbye. Staff of Magnus. Here we go. And Morakai as well. Now we could put Morakai on. Um, the toss up then is between Morakai and your Mage Circlet. Um, I typically leave the Mage Circlet on um, because it's also not armor and rather just go unarmored for the moment. Uh, but you can put Morakai on at this stage if you want. And here we have a chest full of a lot of stuff. Um, we have a couple of crappy amulets, a lock picking amulet, we can disenchant that. Um, fire resistant shield and uh, some elven gilded armor. All right. Um, yeah, let's save in case any other shenanigans happen sorry. between now and the end. Oh yeah. I'm so sorry. I had no choice. It was the only way to make sure that monster never escaped. I promise you, I'll never let this happen again. I'll seal this whole place away. Yep. Um, and we forgot to get Lydia, so let's go get Lydia, right? Eh? Uh, where is Lydia? Can't forget little old Lydia. Uh, there we go. Hey. We heading out? As you will, my thing. I will let's protect go. you with my life. Doody doody do. Summon Beavis and Butthead. Oh, yeah, this guy. Hi. You made it out of there alive. Ankana was right. You are dangerous. I'm afraid I'll have to take that staff from you now. Ankana wants it kept safe. Oh, and he wants you dead. Nothing personal. Yeah. You fool. Get out of the way, thanks, mate. Uh. The standard chance. Yep. I do, because I can do this, and then you can't hurt me, and then Beavis and Butthead run after you and pin you in a corner, and then you're dead. He can actually hurt you quite a lot with his shock magic, so I'll um, we'll just let all our minions deal with him. And uh, check out these barrels. Dragon tongue. Ooh. Some salt. Um, some apples. And, uh, yeah, how we going, guys? Yeah, he has chain lining, so he does that. It's kind of annoying. Uh, but uh, he'll be dead. There we go. Bye. Wizard v Dramora Lords equals no more wizard. Bye. Alright. And I think we're done. Time to head out. We <clears throat> All right, I think there's a troll down here or something. Go find it, boys. There it is. Final thing we have left to do 
uh, is become Archmage, and uh, we basically do that by uh, going back to the college and uh, fixing all the shit that Uncarno's done. Um, so let's go do that now. But first, we have to um, deal with this damage sponge idiot that our uh, boxing chicken summoner is on the case. Alright, so while we do that, let's make Staff of Magnus 6, because we're going to use that a bit. That happened. Uh, I kind of would rather you not be all the way over there. Thanks. Dead. That's a good place for a corpse. Um. Eh. Sad. All right, hi. You survived. You have it, then. Let's hope it's as powerful as the Sigics believe it to be. Where's Mirabel? She, she didn't make it. When it was clear we were going to have to fall back, she stayed behind and made sure the rest of us were all right. All right. Well, uh, yeah. Right Useless NPC dead. Let's get in there. He literally just buffs himself up and then punches them to bits. What a chad. So, uh, yeah, it's not really worth summoning anything at the beginning of the fight, uh, for reasons that will be explained in about 30 seconds. You think I don't know what you're up to? You think I can't destroy you? The power to unmake the world at my fingertips. And you think you could do anything about it? And that's why you summon him again. Off we go. Ah, uh, so yeah, you don't have Lydia's health in the final fight. Uh, because she stays paralyzed on the ground the whole time. So basically, you got Beavis and Butthead. So uh, another reason why it's a good idea to, uh, to get that to 100 for this quest. Uh, you can do this with one more Lord. It's not impossible. It's just uh, more effortful. Uh, and then he'll run back to the staff. And then the thing. So he'll just use the staff on him again. Uh, but basically, every time he runs back to the eye, he's invincible. And, um, so all you really need to do is just uh, use this thing on the eye, and until he's not invincible anymore. And uh, yeah, go from there. Um, they're busy, of course, killing another little damage sponge. 
why not? Do -do -do. Meanwhile, Lancano, the like all powerful high elf, is kind of sitting in the corner. He's like, hey guys, you want to join with me? Oh no, there's two of these bloody things. Things on legendary difficulty is so fucking needlessly tanky. Can we go fucking kill Ankana now, mate? Leave the stupid blob alone. It doesn't do anything. Kill him! All we need to do is kill Ankano and then everything else is easier. Alright. I think we are almost there. Well, this is quite the clusterfuck. Um, I'm not used to it being this bad. I think normally we kill Uncarno quicker every other time that I've done it, and we don't get all these stupid anomalies appearing. Um, but anyway, with any luck, we can go and kill fucking Uncarno. No, don't run over there. Kill him, leave this shit alone. Right. Yeah, this is normally not this fucking difficult. Normally we actually go for Uncarno before these fuckwits show up, but this isn't as hard. I'm actually going to run out of charge with this stupid fucking staff. Oh my god. Yeah, you know what, we're actually just going to reload this bit because this is way too fucking ridiculous. This has never been this hard before. Usually it's quite simple, the Dremora's just gunned down Encarno in the corner and then you fucking kill him and then he's dead. And so we just have to do this all over again. Or are too fucking dumb to target it. 
make the world at my fingertips. And do you think you can do anything about it? <laughs> I am beyond your pathetic attempts at that. You cannot touch me. Enough! So, what we learned from that is that if you don't fucking shoot this thing all the time, then, oh Jesus, then uh, he just, all these stupid magical damage bundles appear and you can't do shit, so. Why do I feel like I've got a lot less magic than I should have at the moment? I feel like I shouldn't be so low on magicka. Yeah, I, why have I only got 230 magicka? Because the fucking mage circle isn't working properly, isn't it? Fucking joke. So not only... Yeah. Anyway. Take two of fighting this guy. Goodbye. That was a lot easier than before, wasn't it? Thanks. So that's what should have happened the first time, but uh, we pussyfooted around and we didn't use the stuff on this thing enough, and so 800 of these fucking damage sponges showed up, and then Dramora's got confused, and uh, yeah. We ran out of charge on our little staff, and it was all a little bit too difficult, so uh, yeah. When you guys do it, uh, make sure you Dramora's kill Antano quickly before all the damage sponges spaz their eye out. Yeah. I... I don't know. Ancano is gone, but whatever he's done to the eye doesn't seem to have stopped. I have no idea what to do. And, uh, yeah, then you show up. Succeed. Yay! Your victory here justifies our belief in you. You have proven yourself more than worthy to guide the College of Winterhold. Alright, uh, so what happens there? It cannot remain here or else it may destroy your college and this world. It must be secured. Onkano's actions prove that the world is not ready for such a thing. We shall safeguard it. For now. You now have the opportunity to maintain your college and carry on with your lives. You have our gratitude, Archmage. So, uh, yeah, and then you just get promoted to Archmage, because uh, these cool hooded robes people who can teleport said so. Uh, without knowing what your qualifications are or what else you can do, you just uh, become Archmage, because you uh, did the things. Sweet. Sedgix, here now? You've done it. The college is safe again, thanks to your work. I knew you had it in you. I dare say the Sedgix are right. There's no one more deserving to be Archmage, in my opinion. Here, consider these yours, and the Archmage's quarters as well. I shall be here for advice, should you need me. Alright. Uh, so, so yeah, we are now officially Archmage. Hooray. Um, while we're here, might just uh, buy some gems to uh, enchant stuff with. And uh, can I sell you anything? Do, do, do. Won't sell them, we're about to use them, but we'll sell these because we're not using them anymore. Um oh. now nah, that's enough. Alright, sweet. Um so we get the Archmage's robes, which are these guys. 
So the Archmage's Robes, all spells cost 15% less to cast, uh, plus 50 Magicka, and Magicka regenerates 100% faster. So they're pretty much the best non-crafted robes you can get in the game from a spell casting perspective. Uh, you can get Mirax Robes, uh, which have spell absorption on them, so they're good for that. But if you purely just wanted to cast spells from lots of different schools, these robes are good. Um, and also, because we don't have the unofficial patch installed, you can use a mage circlet at the same time. If you do have the unofficial patch installed, sorry, you're not able to do that. But uh, because we do, we're able to use that. And also, we're able to use uh, an amulet that I completely forgot about until now, lol, and that'll boost our magicka by a little bit. So we now have 370 magicka. How good's that? All right, that's enough of that. Let's leave it here. We will save. Thank you very much, guys, and I hope you all have a great day. See Skyrim still has such fine people. You give an old man hope. Yep.